gigantic. Yeah, it was just kind of awe-inspiring. Amazing, phenomenal trip of a lifetime. We'll be back. I hear that one all the time. Where in the world, I mean, do you see this? It's peace. It's pure peace. You probably heard the term glamping before. It means glamorous camping. Here at Bear Paw Camp in Sequoia National Park, this is glamping, but with a twist that suits an outdoor adventure. Established in 1934, Bear Paw is about as unique a campground as you'll find in the Sierra Nevada mountains. In essence, its existence is a way for day hikers to get the kind of magical, transcendent High Sierra experience normally reserved for backpackers. You see, this is wilderness, and you are more than 11 miles from your car and reliable cell reception, but you're sleeping in a tent cabin on a rather comfortable cot with sheets, a pillow, sleeping bag, and blanket provided. And while there is no electricity here, you can take a hot shower, use an actual flush toilet, and when you hear this sound, a truly delicious, made-from-scratch meal is ready to eat. If I have refrigeration and I have gas and I have an oven, I could make food on the moon, really. It doesn't, it just depends on if I have the right materials and the correct equipment, which we do. We have an industrial kind of kitchen here on top of a mountain. Dinner and breakfast are included with your reservation, as is fresh lemonade. Sandwiches, snacks, beer and wine are available for purchase. You'll probably want a cup of the latter to watch the sun set on the peaks of the Great Western Divide. So about an 11 mile hike in, but once you get there, it's paradise, right? So you do it once, you, you, you can't stop doing it. Yes, that hike in is the twist on typical glamping. You'll take off from the Crescent Meadow parking lot at the southeast edge of Sequoia National Park's giant forest and follow signs for the High Sierra Trail. This was the first trail in the Sierra Nevadas built solely for recreational use. Pretty quickly, everything opens up. The still snowy tips of the Great Western Divide are rarely out of sight from this point forward. And that's far from the only beauty as the trail follows the ridgeline. The creek crossings are too many to count, keeping things interesting, navigating rocks or logs to reach the other side. Wildflowers, and small waterfalls are ever present as well. The big winter in the mountains making for a spring-like feel in mid-July. Overall, the trail is pretty moderate by backcountry standards, only gaining a thousand feet in elevation start to finish. Not to say this isn't a strenuous workout. It is, and on average, it takes six to eight hours to hike the full 11.3 miles. But how can you complain with these views and a light load on your back? We made it. Yes, we did. And if 61-year-old ladies can make it, the other people can make it too. Campers I met who have been coming to Bear Paw for years highly recommend staying two nights and using the down day to hike four miles further on the High Sierra Trail to Hamilton Lake. Like most alpine lakes, it did not disappoint. And the scenery on the way there was even better than the first day. Another recommendation was to stay at Wuxachi Lodge the night before the trip and the night after. The lodge is only a few miles from the trailhead, and staying there not only allows you to avoid a long drive the same day as a long hike, but also allows for short side trips to Sequoia National Park landmarks like the General Sherman Tree, by volume the largest tree on Earth, and Morrow Rock, a stellar sunset spot. Also worth mentioning, there are just six tent cabins, each with the two beds. So reservations are tough to come by. Although I don't think anyone who comes here would want that to change. Part of the allure of waking up to this view is that you're not sharing it with a crowd. Getting away from it all, getting away from your emails and your cell phones and the fact that you're, you know, we don't really know what's going on in Washington tonight and we don't care. I mean, you're living in the woods, off the grid, no cell phone, no blue screens, and uh, I think they're all, they don't want to leave. Bottom line, if you enjoy hiking and nature, and possibly seeing an adolescent bear climb down a tree 30 feet from the trail, yep, that happened. But 
don't like sleeping on the ground or carrying 50 pounds of gear, well, you just won't find a combination quite like this anywhere else. In Sequoia National Park, Nick King, Fox 26 Sports.